Hello everyone, welcome back to this short new technology moment. Thank you very much for watching this video. The idea today is to show you the experience that we had with this particular Wi-Fi 7 adapter, the WavLink, based on the Intel BE200 chipset that we have extensively tested in many scenarios with extraordinary results. As you can see right here, what you get in the box is the adapter itself, the small form factor bracket, and the antenna. This one is a PCI Express adapter that you can uh, basically connect to any computer as for PCI Express concerns. However, we cannot say the same for the BE200 adapter that is connected to such card. And I mean the adapter that is underneath this heatsink. And that, as you'll be able to see in a moment, can be quite troublesome, particularly for the newest systems. As always, we started our tests connecting this Wi-Fi card to an older system based on the third generation Core i7 processor, which is always very important to see how compatibility works in older systems. But we have seen that this compatibility is maybe the most relevant weakness that Wi-Fi 7 adapters have. And ironically, for BE200s, the newer the system, the less compatible it is with the wide variety of Wi-Fi 7 adapters that are available in the market today. More of that in a second. We turned it on, most likely you will have to install the drivers, so I previously downloaded them from Intel, installed such drivers from the BE200 family, and the adapter worked fantastic. Not as fast as we were able to get out of the internal adapter, also from WavLink and also based on the BE200, but we reached very interesting speeds, as you are seeing on screen. By the way, we were using this Omata TP-Link EAP773 uh, with a 10 gigabit per second uplink. Fantastic access point, by the way. And as we have said with MLO Active, and as you have seen, has let us go beyond 4 gigabit per second over Wi-Fi with previous tests with other B200 Wi-Fi 7 adapters from this same brand. In this particular case, these are, however, the speeds that we got. Very good speeds, just a little over Wi-Fi 6E, but it was very interesting to note that at the moment we upgraded the firmware of our access point, which was at the moment that we were making these tests, top speeds decreased considerably compared to tests made just a few minutes before. So here, a very important note for all of you. Not all Wi-Fi 7 capable routers or access points are going to give you the same performance, particularly now that Wi-Fi 7 hardware has continued to evolve and the manufacturers still are releasing firmware versions. This adapter, even though capable and with such configuration available from the driver's advanced settings, did not connect using MLO, a technology that even now, one year after Wi-Fi 7 was released, many manufacturers have not dared to include in their hardware. Now, about compatibility flaws. Uh, this is due to the technology that Intel introduced with most recent systems that is called CNVIO, CNVI, or simply connectivity integration, which is a technology that is involved on Intel-based systems that changes the way Wi-Fi 7 adapters interact with motherboard and the processor. Not only Wi-Fi 7, actually it has been around since Wi-Fi 5, moving some components out of the adapter and delegating such functions to existing, more capable hardware already present in CPUs and motherboards. This has created, by the way, huge compatibility issues for Wi-Fi 7 adapters. For example, this adapter, oddly enough, didn't work in my Core i7 13th generation CPU, it just prevents it from booting. Also, on my Core i7 2024 laptop from Lenovo just won't work, and it is actually very difficult to find these explanations from manufacturers or even a simple hardware compatibility list, uh, and you would just have to figure it out all by yourself. Okay, guys, hope this video was as informative as intended. Remember that the idea with our videos is for us to share our experience with you. So if you're in the decision-making process of buying one of these great adapters, you make an informed decision. See you next time.